Well, hello everybody and welcome to another video tutorial. My name is Peter Draglitz and today I would like to show you a very nice feature we have in Blender and sometimes overlooked feature which is the render border uh, feature. So uh, you uh, often times you want to render not just the entire scene but you want to render just a tiny a uh, preview or uh, f uh, you know a test render of just a, an area a part of the of the of the entire uh, of the entire image okay of the entire camera view or of the entire uh, viewport so in that case there all you need to do is to press n and bring the side panel here and then let's enable by the way the start display screencast uh, add-on here so you can see the shortcuts down here all right and then uh, go to the view section and you're going to find the render border option so click on this click on that and you are enabling the render border in a region what this does it allows us to use the control plus B shortcut control plus B and then uh, just click left mouse click and drag and draw a rectangle which you want to get rendered at the end of the whole scene of course, first, th it would be a nice idea to switch over to the cycle render and also enable down from down here the rendered view so that this has an effect. Otherwise, you nothing nothing is going to happen. So I'm switching here from, from here to the rendered view. All right. And now you can see that I can render just uh, the, 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 the area that I have uh, enclosed inside the uh, the rectangle here. Okay, now at the bottom left down here, you can see that we have some sliders here that allows allow us for uh, adjusting with more precision the dimensions, all right, of the of the sides uh, of the rectangle and to position the sides of the rectangle. Okay. Also, we have a camera only option. If you enable this, let's go ahead and enable this. Then you can see that we have a uh, then you can see that if I enable the camera only option, okay, then you are going to see that we don't have any uh, any render border for the uh, for for any view, but just for for the uh, for the view through our camera. So click zero on numpad so we can see through our camera. Press Control B, right? Control B, and drag, click and drag, and we have this uh, rectangle here. Right, of course, switch over to the cycle render. Now you have this functionality just when you take a look through your camera. So I can, uh, I can see through my camera, okay, and I can have a live render of my scene through my camera. Now, uh, if you uncheck this, though, then you can see that the whole 3D view panel is uh, is rendered, okay, uh, is updating, all right. So if I enable this, then just the um, the frame that I have uh, drawn uh, is uh, is being updated, is being redrawn. Okay. So if you uh, if you uncheck this camera only option, you can see that we switch over. I think this could be a bug, by the way, to the uh, Blender render. Of course, I want to stay in the cycle render. Anyways, this is only for camera. Uh, for camera uh, render border uh, region option okay so now the very same functionality you can find it if I move a little bit the divider line here you can find this uh, here in the rendering panel and you can see that we you have also a border option uh, well what is the difference between this one and this one well if you enable this one then you tell rend uh, you tell blender to render also the border in the rendered output okay as well when you click render the image so if for example i wanted to uh, to have just a a part of my image render it then i have to first enable the blender the camera only option switch so over to the site render engine uh, look through your camera by pressing zero press ctrl b draw a rectangle and now since you have enabled this border option here if you press f12 you can see that only that part of the of the of the frame that you have enclosed uh, you have defined using using the rectangle is now 
getting rendered, right? So that's very, very useful. If you had, for example, a very complicated scene, then you, you, you'd probably like, want to, uh, to have this, uh, this option here. It comes into handy when working with some very, very heavy or complicated scenes. Now, let's try adding some materials here so you can see this in uh, more, you know, uh, in action, if you prefer. So let's press N and, 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 and hide this side panel here. And now let's go ahead and uh, let's say I uh, switch over to the lamp object here. Select this from the outliner and go down where it is the object data for the sun for the lamp and make this lamp a, a sun lamp. Of course, for first click use nodes. Make this a sun lamp. Okay, and let's reduce the size of the of the of the lamp here. Okay, a little bit. Okay, I mean this is the sharpness of the shadows. And now let's go ahead select our cube and let's go ahead and add to this a new material. All right, not not something very fancy, just a symbol, diffuse material. You can see the color that is updating here. Okay, now, and I want also to uh, add the mesh plane. And uh, let's go ahead and press Shift S and bring the selection to the cursor. All right, so I, I, I move my plane to, this, to, the, to the center of my scene. All right. As you can see, all right. Now, if I scale up my plane, you can see immediately it updates, and you can have a live render preview of the of just the part of the scene that you are going, uh, you are you are interested in. So, another very useful option here would be to go up here to the file, user preferences, and just go ahead from the pop-up menu here, go to the go ahead and switch over to the interface and enable the rotate around selection option here. So now. For the object uh, you want, you are interested in having a, 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 live, re a live rendering, all right, update inside cycles, uh, then you have first to select our cube, let's say here, the cube, and now since I have enabled this, um, this uh, rotate around selection option here, so click and enable, click on that, enable the rotate around selection, all right, now my my 3D view is going to be centered always, all the time, around the object that I have selected. So that's very it comes into handy. If you want it, for example, to see a a certain object from many views, all right. If you want it, for example, to grab and and move it somewhere along the z-axis, and then you want it to see, uh, just go ahead and select the object, and then you can navigate through your scene and you can tumble or rotate around your selected object. That's very very nice. Uh, I must say. Now, in, 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 in that case there, where you wanted to change the dimensions of uh, this rectangle here, well, for the moment, we have just one uh, uh, way for doing so. We, you have to retype, uh, reuse the Control plus B shortcut. So, click Control plus B and redraw the, uh, a new rectangle, as you can see now. The rectangle is updated. You can then go down here at the bottom left where the sliders are and just play around with the dimensions of the rectangle. All right. And also you might want to uh, also uh, enable the camera only option. But in th at this point, I would like to suggest something uh, to the developers. If they wanted to make this even more, uh, you know, uh, user friendly, they 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 might want it, they might want to consider to add a uh, for those panels here they might want to consider a, a a lock functionality for for some of the of the of those panels let's say for example that i we had here a lock icon uh, where the the interface or the panel would be locked even if i if i if i if i was to add a new mesh in in our case now well, you can see this uh, this operator panel here. It changes to uh, the add plane uh, menu. But if I wanted it to stay there, locked, that would be very very useful. If we had a, a lock functionality, or equally, if we had a button for separating this manager here. I mean this uh, this uh, menu here uh, in the form of a floating menu, and uh, so I could always. Uh, uh, have uh, the, uh, uh, the, the those sliders for the rectangle uh, available in my in their, on my uh, interface. Okay, just uh, I'm proposing this, and that will be really, really, very nice 
uh, in terms of uh, of, of uh, user friendly uh, you know uh, functionality for the blender interface so uh, in a nutshell that was my quick tip for today i hope you enjoyed it and you learned something uh, from this and um, so if you like this don't forget to subscribe see you next time uh, with another interesting topic hopefully soon until then have fun and goodbye